It looks like thin gaming notebooks are the new hotness at Computex this year since everywhere we look, there's a new one. A lot of this is due to NVIDIA's new Max-Q technology, which effectively combines efficient GPU design with cutting edge thermal engineering to create high-end laptops that are thinner, lighter, and more powerful than ever. One of the best examples of this is the ASUS new ROG Zephyrus GX501, and we'll be looking at it right after a message from our sponsor. Our Computex trip is brought to you by Fantex, Cooler Master, and MSI. Now, just by looking at the Zephyrus, you wouldn't be mistaken to think it resembles an Ultrabook from last year. It's razor thin at just 17.9 millimeters high, and it weighs just 2.24 kilograms. It actually makes the razor blade we're using for editing during the show look massive by comparison. This is actually the thinnest ROG notebook ASUS has ever created, but it's also one of the most powerful. There will be multiple deferred configurations available, but in its highest end form factor, there will be an Intel Core i7 7700HQ processor and a GTX 1080 graphics card housed within. Uh, ASUS told me that it was gonna be priced around 2699 USD. Uh, there's also a 1070 option that's gonna be priced at 2299. The differences between the two are obviously the GPU and the storage configurations. There will also be up to 24 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 megahertz memory and an insanely fast NVMe SSD, like I mentioned above, capable of pushing speeds up to 3.5 gigabytes per second. Pretty insane in my opinion. Now these components power a 15.6 inch 1080p display with an optional G-Sync module and a refresh rate of up to 120 hertz. I've been told that the panel uses an AH-VH panel that's similar to an IPS offering, but uh, we really have to test it out when we get one of these in the studio. Now at first, this may seem to be impossible or at least possible, but with fans running louder than a race car, that's not what's happening here. Instead, ASUS engineers have created something called the Active Aerodynamic System, or AAS, to keep all the components cool. Basically, when you lift the lid, a small bottom panel opens up which allows the fans to breathe in fresh air. It's a brilliant design that works alongside interior air ramps that ensure cool air is always circulating through the heat sinks. Meanwhile, the CPU has a dedicated blower fan, radiator, and heat pipe array, while the GPU uses a same design but adds a second heat sink for a good measure. Supposedly, all these innovations allow the Zephyrus GX501 to achieve a noise level of just 40 decibels alongside a complete lack of throttling when gaming. Asus is also promising lower surface temperatures than competing solutions, and thank goodness for that since the last thing anyone wants is a burn on their lap while gaming. We'll have to put that through the test once we receive a sample since it's a pretty substantial claim. Okay, about that odd keyboard positioning that I'm sure you are all asking yourselves about, it's odd to say the least. Supposedly, the keys are moved closer to the front edge to attain a more desktop-like hand positioning, and we can believe that since your wrists won't have to sit on top of a notebook's edge, it is also pushed forward since ASUS needs to maximize the depth above critical components to maximize heatsink size and airflow potential. Meanwhile, the pinholes above the area where a normal keyboard would be located are used for additional fan intakes. The keyboard is something to behold too since it boasts full RGB lighting, a 30 key anti-ghosting technology and key switches that have been fine-tuned to give you optimal feedback. During my time with the Zephyrus, the keyboard felt surprisingly good but there's a bit of steep learning curve when trying to type quickly on it. There's another cool surprise on the trackpad too. With the press of a button, it transforms from a regular trackpad into an illuminated numpad and that's just brilliant. Even though the ROG Zephyrus GX501 is razor thin, it doesn't skimp on connectivity either. There's a reversible USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port that pushes up to 40 gigabits per second for Thunderbolt devices and the ability to run a DisplayPort 2.0 signal through the Type-C port. HDMI 2.0 makes an appearance as well. For legacy devices, ASUS has also included four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports as well. So that wraps up our hands-on time with this amazing new gaming notebook. What do you guys think of the Zephyrus uh, RG notebook from ASUS? Uh, do you guys appreciate the design? Uh, plus, what do you think about the price tag? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Ebo with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more Computex coverage, and we'll see you in the next one.